All right, this is part number two. Part number two. The Giants, the Giants relatives and company, they came back. It was a movie one time called years ago called Sometimes They Come Back. <laughs> Sometimes they come back. Let's read. Get your Bible and go to 2 Samuel 21 and 15. 2 Samuel 21 and 15. <coughs> Moreover, the Philistines had yet war again with Israel. I want, you, I want you to see this. And David went down and his servants with him and fought against the Philistines. Look at this. And David waxed faint. David was faint. David was faint. David was faint. David was overcome. David was weak. Uh, you know, you can fight so long. <laughs> but even in the weakness, he's still God's anointed. All right. And 16, and ish be, be na, which was of the sons of the Zion. Sometimes they come back. Some, ooh, that's a message, right? Sometimes the giants in your life come back. You get rid of one, sometimes they come back. Now, and I add, it be, it by be, no, which was of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spirit weighed 300 shekels of bread in weight. He being girded with a new sword, thought to have slain David. And Abishiel, the son of Zeru, we are, secured him and smote the Philistine and killed him. David didn't kill this giant. Abishiel. Say I, the son of Zeru, E I, smote the Philistine. He killed that giant. Not David. He killed that giant. And he didn't have a sleeve shot. But who was it? It was God. Then the men of David swear to him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us. See, as though this, it got too much for David. They said, thou shalt go out no more with us to battle that thou quit not the light of Israel. You may get killed. <laughs> you didn't do too good last time, David. <laughs> the anointing. Huh? Not only was on David, but was on the men under David. Israel. Israel was God's people. Before they were thought of, Israel was God's people too. All right. You ain't going out no more. You ain't going to put the crystal, crystal light on Israel. No. <laughs> we ain't going to let you do it. <laughs> now they had, they had saw what God did with David and Goliath earlier. It's good to let folks see you. You victorious. You just talk. All right. And it came to pass after this that there was again a battle with the Philistine, and God did sit be sha the Hugh Shethite slew Sap, which was of the sons of a giant. That's another giant. They killed. Now, David, they killed. They killed, not David. There was again a battle in Nob in the field staff where El Ha Nan, the son of 
J-R-E-R-E again, a Bethlehem, Bethlehemite, slew the brother of Goliath, the G-type, the stag, of whose spear was like a will be. He killed Goliath's brother. All, look at all them giant falling. <laughs> My God, we serve a mighty God. Look at all them giant falling. Huh? Now, And there was yet a battle in Gat, and there was a man of great stature that on every hand had he had six fingers, on every foot six toes, four and twenty in number. He was also born a giant. And when he defiled Israel, Jonathan, the son of Shemia, the brother of David, slew him. Jonathan slew him. Look at all them giant fallen. Why? Because God is great. Because the name of the Lord. These four were born to the giant in Gath and fell by the hand of David and his servants. The other giants, they came. Sometimes they come back. <laughs> I don't care how many times you come back. When God is on your side, they going to fall. Original point, by ourselves, we ain't nothing. With God, we everything. With God, we can stand anything. With God. Well, am I through? That was kind of long. Let me stop here. I believe it's all of this. I just, this, this will be enough for I may come and do something else later on, but that's enough right now. God bless your heart, people. You show sure enough. Just had Bible study. And let me say this. I say so often when I get ready to teach and preach. I say, now you get ready to hear something you never heard before in your life. I don't say that to be arrogant or to bring, bring that out, bring in some new doctrine. No, I'm doing that because I know. In past, we have not really seriously studied the word of God. Never. All right. That's enough. You just not show enough had the word of God, had Bible study. Rewind the tape. Read it for yourself. Hallelujah. All right. God bless your people.